Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is a 56-year-old gentleman who had an injury on his jet ski. He came down hard and felt pain in his back a couple weeks ago. Has had continued pain. And this is a lumbar spine MRI looking at the patient in profile on two images. This is the left image called a T2 image. We know it's T2 because T2 has fluid which is bright or hyper intense we call it. This is that fluid in the spinal canal. We see the fat is also pretty bright. The bones are kind of gray. And over here, this is a T1 weighted view, and I have an arrow to the finding here, where fluid is dark. So fluid is in the spinal canal, it's dark. The fat's really bright. Marrow has lots of fat in it, it's very bright as well. We see these little discs in between to get oriented. These are the vertebral bodies. These are the discs. And we see one main finding, and the arrows are pointing to it. The patient has a compression fracture, or just a fracture of the superior end plate of this L2 vertebral body. This is called L5, 4, 3, 2. Instead of being perfectly square, it has this cupped superior end plate. We see it's dark on this one, and fluid is dark on this one, so the abnormality is dark because it has a fluid signal within the vertebral body. On this one, fluid is white, so the bone is more white because it has fluid signal. So this is an acute compression fracture. What we look for these is, is it mild, moderate, or severe, and also is the uh, bone nice and straight along the back surface, or is there posterior bony retropulsion? Does that the bone jut backwards and push on the spinal cord? Here's the spinal cord. The patient has a nice linear, uh, or the back border of the vertebral column is nice and straight, so there's no posterior bony retropulsion. There's just a little bit of volume loss, so just a mild compression deformity here. So this hopefully will go on to heal. Sometimes if patients are in a lot of pain, they can put cement in there. They put this thick needle or trocar in there, and they'll inject cement, and that will help um, reduce the pain because the vertebral body won't keep collapsing and cause pain. And it can stabilize it. A lot of times they'll just let the patient be, put on a back brace, and over time they usually heal up really well when there's just a mild compression fracture like this. They have a few other findings, a couple of disc bulges down here, but nothing dramatic. So this is a very common finding, an acute compression fracture of L2 with a little bit of anterior wedging. This is the anterior, posterior, so the front kind of wedged a little bit. And uh, we see these with the axial load injuries that they come down hard on it like a jump off something or like in a jet ski land really hard or a four-wheeler come down hard and also with the car accidents they get seat belt type injuries here a little bit higher when the body is folded forward and it can get a similar period compression deformity so bread and butter compression fracture thank you very much